morning gardening friends. I'm Mary and welcome to Rocky Mountain Gardens. Today I'm going to be taking you on sort of a selected tour of my backyard garden. Um, it is, uh, you know, not a huge garden because I live in a suburban home, uh, but I have tried to make it feel very peaceful and also give it that cottage feel. That's what I'm working toward. So we're going to see certain parts of my garden. I wanted to share with you what is blooming right now and uh, talk about some of my plants. So I will see you on the tour. There's my zebra grass in the background, just beginning to burst forth. And I do have some of my planters uh, set up. And here I have a very first iris, a beautiful bright yellow one, with more buds coming along here in this bed. Another container. If you saw my earlier video where I redid this um, thrifted stool right here, I placed a planter on top. Now these pots are in the shade right now, but they do get some late afternoon sunshine. I do have out my hammock finally. And at last, my red twig dogwood, it's a variegated variety, is growing its leaves. We had quite a rain all day yesterday, which is just going to be wonderful for my garden now. There's the red twig dogwood in the background by my fence, which I cut down in an earlier video quite a bit. And here's my Japanese tree lilac, which my tree lilac was really decimated by a late snowstorm, but I think it's going to recover. Over in this area here, where I pruned back this mugo pine, it created another garden space for me here that you can see. The cat mint is coming up quite nicely in blooming, so pretty. And it's interesting in some areas, my hostas are really leafing out and in other areas where they don't get quite as much sun, I still have little tiny fingers uh, poking their <laughs> themselves right up above the soil. I'll show you that a little bit further on. And here I have a golden privet and it has not lost these dead leaves yet. And I know it's still alive because if we come down here very close, down in there you can see some leaves. And there are a couple of other areas on the other side of this where I see some growth. So I'm just crossing my fingers and having faith that it is going to survive and come back. Here we have a very tall skyrocket juniper that I simply adore. And it is filled to the brim with juniper berries this spring. Isn't it lovely? And I do know that there are quite a few birds which enjoy eating these berries. So that's a wonderful thing.
Look at this lovely yarrow. This is going to be beautiful in the late summer with yellow blooms. And I have some tall garden phlox here. And then this patch of candy tuft is always so bright and cheerful in the early spring. Now, guys, look at my Joe Pie weed. After I showed you in an earlier spring video, nothing was here and I had cleared away all of the dead tall stalks of the Joe Pie weed. Now it is filling in and oh my goodness, it is going to be simply stupendous later on this summer. And I'll be sure to share that with you. Here we have a day lily. And over here, I always enjoy this burgundy foliage on my purple sand cherries. So pretty. Oh, have a look at the buds on the Sarah Bernhardt peony. This is one of my most vigorous growers of the peonies in my yard. It's been here probably the longest. And there is my lovely variegated leaf Carl Forster feather reed grass. If you enjoy grasses, this is quite a lovely one. And this is an Anthony Waterer spirea. You can see it's very slow leafing out this spring. And I have definitely noticed that this year, how slowly things are leafing out. Now in this area, I have so many volunteers of this plant that is called Nautia. It gets little red blossoms on it. Almost, they look like pincushion flowers, except they're sort of a maroon, dark red color. I'll show you a picture of what it lo will look like here. But I'm gonna dig up some of these to take over to my daughter's garden and place them in some other areas of my own garden. On the left here, you can see my Wichita Blue uh, Juniper, which is a great bush. And my Autumn Purple Ash has not leafed out yet. It is usually slower, but this spring even uh, taking longer than normal. You can see some baby leaves right there. This lovely plant is my variegated Solomon seal. And as you can see, it is developing its little flowers that open up a little more than they are right now. And then they look like little white bells. Very pretty. And the foliage is gorgeous all summer. Now, moving over, to my shed area. I have planted up my containers to decorate my potting shed. And very soon these containers will go ahead and be blooming and full and luscious. There's my mint that I plant each summer for wonderful refreshing drinks. <laughs> and some more plants. Most of these are shade loving plants so that when my ash does leaf out, it will be uh, in the shade here. Now coming over to my flagstone pathway here, I am so thrilled to see how the blooms on my uh, Korean lilac here are just getting ready to burst open and I will be sure to share this with you when they do get to be in full bloom. Oh my goodness, the fragrance on this bush is just amazing. I do recommend it very, very much. Here's a yellow barberry that gives that bright yellow color throughout the summer. 
and this is an arborvitae. I'm trying to think of the variety. I'll put it up on the screen for you. I have my pot on my driftwood right there. And all of my garden decor <laughs> hanging on the fence. Now guys, here you can see in a dark shaded area of my yard in the corner. This is what I was talking about. Just the small fingers of the hostas are poking up at this time. But we can be patient and wait for it to come out and unfurl those beautiful leaves. And I do have another one of these golden privets in my yard. And this is normally such a beautiful bush, but like I said about the other one, you can see inside the branches that there are some little baby leaves coming. So since this seems to be a slower spring, I am just going to be waiting for it to leaf out and fill this part of my garden with that beautiful golden color this summer. Now guys, here is a look at my uh, fern leaf bleeding heart. And I just love this plant since it blooms all summer. And these blooms are very, very long lasting. It is just such a lovely addition to your garden. Well, I'm back standing next to my beautiful lilac, my Korean lilac bush. And I wanted to say thank you for stopping by my channel. And also be sure down in the comments to ask questions about any of the plants you see in my garden. And if you would like to know specific information about a certain plant that grows well, out in the West in a dry climate, uh, be sure to ask me. I love to help fellow gardeners and beginner gardeners. So I hope to see you again in my next video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be talking about planting caladiums, a new plant for me, and I want to see how they do in my garden. It will be a little experiment. So uh, guys, do not forget to subscribe. And I have some links down in my description box to lead you to other videos that I've made on gardening and decorating your homes. See you in the next video, guys. So long.